Alright, so I'm going to be doing a custom intake system for this Focus ST225 um, as well as a downpipe. So you can see I've got started already just marking up getting a general idea. I actually originally wanted to use where the Ram Air comes in from here. gets cold air all over here but um, it's not going to work. So as you know I'm doing the intake system for the Focus ST. And I did manage to get this in intake pipe done. Now, usually what I do is I'll clean the welds up like this. But uh, these welds came out so nice that uh, I don't think I actually want to take any of these burn marks off. Just came out so nice. Yeah. It's really nice. I like that. All the way down as well. Hmm. Yeah, so. So this is where I'm at now. With this uh, intake pipe. That's what's up, yo. Hey, it came out really nice. I'm really happy. All the wilding came out so nice. Just all good, all around good job. Lekker. Damn, son. Yeah, this came out really nice. So this just happened. Busted up my hand. Ooh, this one hurts. Got a cut on my finger there. So this is what happens when you play with a fidget spinner with 200 PSR plus 250 PSR So my buddy was holding it in his hand like this and we blew it with a compressor Spinning like this and this thing just flipping exploded Sending bearings everywhere. I think that's what done and damaged both me and him So basically what happened is uh, This this bearing over here obviously broke away and sending this thing out of balance because my buddy was holding this thing in his hand like this <laughs> and we were blasting this thing with air and uh, yeah this thing just disintegrated sending bearings everywhere all over the workshop I don't even know where they are my hands are sore I still have work to do I still got to paint this bumper 
Uh, we both got hurt, which is funny. It's really funny. It happened so fast, oh, I don't even know what happened. I actually wish we had that on like some sort of slow-mo. But uh, I did get a video of it spinning with the air, so you can kind of get an idea. Too bad we didn't get on video. Honestly, I didn't think it would explode. I still said to Jay, I'm like, don't worry, dude, it's not going to explode. Boom, it explodes. So this is where we're at right now. I have the bumper fully primed, fully sanded, and I've just got a tacked rag. So, it's time for base coat. And then uh, after that, uh, we can hit it with a clear. But first, I actually just want to wet the floor a little bit just in the surrounding area just so I don't pick up any dust so this is where we're at right now the bumper is fully covered pretty well with base coat I think I just want to do one more coat because it being a metallic silver if I can just hit it very lightly you know do the whole thing just to get the metallic just to stand up nicely so that when it's in the sun it pops as it should but yeah then it will be clear coat and I'm still gonna do that tonight wanna get it ready for tomorrow yeah what up so uh, last night I painted the clear got the clear coat on so I just waited until the next day before it was dry and this is the end result Came out real nice, nice and glossy. It's exactly how we want it. Orange peel can always be a problem, so always want to avoid trying to sand and polish, only because it's never really quite the same unless you put a lot of time and effort into it. But then it's just not worth the job anymore. So yeah, looking good, man.